Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Dustin Grace and I'm here with Steven the Laggy Gamer and we just got done doing an epic game hunt. We started at what time? Uh, we left here at 10 this morning and it is now... Uh, I think it might have been 9. Was it? We left at 9 and it is now 5 o'clock. And uh, we uh, started out here in Zanesville and then we drove an hour to Columbus and really tooled around Columbus quite a bit and then came back to Zanesville and hit up a few of the stores here and found quite a bit of stuff. Yes. Um, yeah. And, and I have to say, this is my first time, of course, being in Ohio and Columbus. Man, what a beautiful city to drive through. There's so much so much stores and stuff there. I'm sure there's plenty more game stores that we probably could have went to, but we visited a lot of places, and then I know the effects of my wallet started saying, okay, I think this is enough today. Yeah, and we were starting to get a little tired from the walk and everything. And After, just, yeah. Yeah. And so, not eating for... I know I wasn't hungry most of the day, but you went a long time without eating. Yeah. Sacrificing yeah. for me, Dustin. Mm. But we're going to show this stuff off we got. And the first place we went to, which you see in Dustin's videos all the time, he always gets to go to Half Price Books. And I don't have one of these near my area. With the two of them. With two of them. Uh, we, and there was a third one we were going to go to, but we were like, forget it. We've done enough. We're going to head on home. So, at Half Price Books, I decided to go, they actually do have lots of selections, like, for, like, this is my first time going here. A lot of these stores had a bunch of good stuff, but I'll go into what I got first at the first Half Price Books. Not much. I got Otagi, or Otogi? Otagi? Otogi. Myth of Demons. Uh, I know it's like an action-adventure type hack-and-slash game. Reminds me of, like, the God of War style. But I heard this one, like, the hidden gems on mm -hmm. the Xbox, so... And for four bucks, I mean, that's a pretty good price, in my opinion, for any game. So, four dollars for that one. And then two guides, since everyone knows, me and Dustin both are both huge fans of the Bioshock series. But Bioshock 1 and 2 strategy guides. And, I mean, what more to say about it? Anything Bioshock I can get my hands on, I want to get. So, not bad. Not bad. I like what I got. And I didn't and find... A oh, free sorry. bookmark. Yeah, there you go. A free bookmark. <laughs> At the first half price books, I didn't really find quite an, a bit. I found kind of a damaged copy of Siberia 2 for the Xbox. And I've been looking for this and just can't find this anywhere, but now I have it. So uh, it's got a little knife mark in the front there, but it is complete. Just change the case out. Just yeah. change the case out and we're good to go. So I got that. And then I picked up two of these little uh, micro figures for Doctor Who. And I figured it'd be fun if we just, well, maybe if I can have this, if I have the strength to open it and see what I actually I got. Because I like kind of buying these uh, mystery figure type things. And this is like, yeah, this is. Will they open? Maybe not. Might have to get, like, uh, I don't have any, oh, I don't have any weapons around. Well, we'll, we'll continue, I'll try <laughs> to continue to open these as the video goes on. But uh, this is really, um, really strong packaging here. Good thing about two people is I can get up and leave and grab something. You could. I just don't it's know not where the That's all right. I'm gonna leave that. Uh, <laughs> professionalism. Just get in that drawer there and get a knife. Yeah. Just get a steak knife. And I'm grabbing my beverage. Oh, and he's gonna grab his beverage. So see, this is this works out well. And while I'm um, undoing this, Close. actually, I already got it. So I'm do if you want to sponsor Dustin's channel. There we go. And in the first case, we got just a... What'd you oh, where's the helmet? I think I dropped the helmet. Will it show on the little sheet like there what everything that comes the set? Yeah, actually, I can go ahead and just show. I'll find the helmet in a minute. But what I got was the... Oh, no, I did not... not ha blah, 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 blah. I got a handy bot which is on there, and go ahead and open this one. These are ridiculous packages. I'm hoping for a doctor, and I got a doctor. Did you get him? Yeah. I got the you doctor. Got the I got the 12th doctor, who is going to be leaving us here in the fall, but I got a little Matt Smith there, awesome. so that was excellent. And it comes with a little sonic screwdriver as well, so <laughs> perfect. Go into your next... Okay. No, you want to do your other half price books first? Oh, because you, you didn't get together. Because you didn't get anything there. I didn't did get you? anything at the other half price okay. books. We Actually, didn't go to two. at the other half price books, I found a score. Kind of a score. Um, no games, but guides, strategy guides. And I found the Tales of Legendia strategy guide. Mm -hmm. I found the art 
of Tales of Legendia book. I found a strategy guide for Radiata Stories, which I might already have. I'll have to look, but if I do, then I'll give it to you and you can go right. buy the game. Okay. And finally, I found a strategy guide for Shin Megami Tensei, um, Devil Summoner, the Soulless Army. Copy. I couldn't believe that was so, in there. <laughs> I didn't even know they made strategy guides for that game, so that's actually going to help me a lot because those old SMT games are really hard to... Any of those guides, I couldn't believe they were in there, but and sure enough, and the guides at this store, most of them were priced at cheaper prices than they had Bioshock at this one, too, and they were cheaper, so... But I thought, the man, I was a steal in those guides, and they do have a lot of games and stuff over there, but mostly common stuff for... Or stuff you probably already got, so... Mm -hmm. But... Handy bot. <laughs> the next place, which was probably the... Uh, well, before that, I'll show off the thing I got at the uh, comic book store. Because we went there first. Okay. Uh, we, we, there was a comic book store, store uh, nearby. And we went to the play and trade. We went to the play no, and trade first. We'll show the play and trade first. <sighs> <laughs> comic book store. We went to the play and trade, then comic book store. And that comic book store, as everyone knows... Uh, there's a comic book series, the Fable series, and they just had the Wolf Among Us come out. And ever since seeing this announcement of Wolf Among Us, I've been wanting to get into this comic book series. So I bought the first volume that has, a, I think, a collection of them in there. I don't know how many. Uh, the guy at the comic book store said it's his favorite series kind of going right now. So I'm really looking forward to getting into it. And also, next to the comic book store was a hobby card shop. And of course, I'm starting to get into this new card game to me called Magic, so a bunch of booster packs. Uh, also got a couple of these at another store, but I figured I'd show them all now. Yeah. Dustin got some as well. Got some, some as sweet. well, just to see what's out there, see if uh, I want to get back into it really heavily or not. So. He, he taught me some lessons with his awesome deck last night, but... So yeah, I got that stuff. And then we went to Play and Trade. Play and Trade. I'll show mine first, because I only got a few. Okay. This is all just Play and Trade here. But this store was awesome. It had a bunch of stuff to choose from. Do we, do we want to show the special item at the very end? Yeah, we'll show okay. his last. And I went retro and stuck with some old school stuff because the NES prices on these games I thought were really good. And I bought Adventure Island and had six bucks on that one, seven. The Little Mermaid, which is one of those great Capcom games that they make of all the Disney games. And that, under five bucks, that's a steal to make. And to make Chance happy, which he'll be happy again, but... Four bucks, Wizards and Warriors. There you go, Chance. I got that for you. And Dustin pointed that out to me. Yeah, I was and like, get that and Chance will be happy. But they had all sorts of stuff there. They had Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Mm -hmm. They had that on the GameCube. They had Shining Force 3. Of course, all this stuff is locked up in the in a back bin other yeah. than Fire Emblem. $184, I think they wanted for the Shining Force. But yeah. they had a great selection. It's a good store. Uh, Skies of Arcadia GameCube. Skies of Arcadia, yeah. Just... A ways for you to have to go to get to it, but yeah, but worth it if we need to find worth it. Uh, especially with the stuff that I picked up there, which I I kind of went yeah, a little crazy ahead. there. Um, but they had a lot of stuff there, and I really went heavy on the DS and uh, picked up Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. For... Is that worth more than the fifteen you paid? I, I you know I, I not now, <laughs> not now, but it's it's over there, but. Uh, I'd have to look it up. Or since it's Dragon Quest, you just really want to Since it's it right. Dragon Quest, that's why I really wanted it. Okay. Uh, picked up Portrait of Ruin for $11. Castlevania. Picked up Lunar Nights for $12, which this is kind of a sequel to, um, oh, what's that game on the Game Boy Advance that uses the, the light sensor? Botkai? Oh, the, yeah. yeah the, I know so it's kind of like a spiritual successor to that game. And then I picked up a hidden gem on the uh, DS, yes. Thor, God of Thunder, which is made by WayForward, correct? Yep. Yep. Great price on it, too. So, five, five bucks. bucks. Five bucks for that. Picked up a boxed copy of Perfect Dark on the N64 that is complete for $15. Really nice condition of the box. You know, some dings every... Hopefully this sticker comes off That's, okay. Uh, I can get that sticker off okay. pretty easily. And then... Uh, this was actually kind of a deal, and I, I was wondering why it was so cheap. I was wondering but what it was when you grabbed it. I got Iridian it, yeah. 3D for the uh, Game Boy Advance for $2. So I couldn't pass that up. 3D shooter on the uh, Game Boy Advance. And then finally, picked up a strategy guide for Jet Force Gemini on the N64. So that's going to come in handy, because I've really been kind of wanting to play that here. I like here. the cover of it, too. Yeah. It's a pretty cool cover. Nice cover. A lot of strategy guides stuff through there. And that's... That's all my stuff, because then at the, the store here in town, I just bought more boosters. 
Okay. So now you gotta go through the rest of your yeah, stuff. Yeah, I got other stuff. Uh, we'll show, if you want to show this one now or? Very end. Okay. Next stop we took was a GameStop, and I went in there. Almost, I'm always looking for PSP stuff, but this GameStop had no PSP stuff even displayed. But while walking around, saw this on the wall, the Final Fantasy 13-2 Collector's Edition. And I am a huge fan of 13-2. And I don't know if you can see the price tag from here, but it was $11.69 for the price tag. Well, I had a $10 off a pre-owned coupon, so I got this for a little over a dollar. And that's just a steal because it is complete. I'll unbox it real quick. Just to show you that it has... Just to get the soundtracks, which it did have the every soundtracks. Every disc of the sound. Everything's in mint condition, too, as far as the casing on the soundtracks and stuff in the on the back, so they're not scratched at all. Only thing is the slipcover's a little beat up, but everything else is great. So for a little over a dollar, I got that. And when I put in my coupon code, I, it showed that I had two coupons, so I think I got another $10 coupon. Bonus coupons. And then next, just right up the street here from Dustin, what's yeah. it called? Coin Mart. It's pretty much a like a trading card, video game, movie type of, it looks like they'll trade and stuff, pawn shop looking deal. And they actually had a lot of stuff in there. Dustin's going to have fun like going up through there and picking through things. But up there they had, I'll show this one first, they had a rack of games that were two ninety five. even though I wound up getting this one for free. Uh, Legaia 2, and you said this is kind of connected to Tales of Legaia? The... No, 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 no. Uh, it's like Legend of Legaia. Legend of Legaia, yes. Yeah, on PS1. It's a sequel to it. And Dustin said for the price tag, which free. now, now free, free. Yeah. Uh, that it was worth getting. It's kind of a quirky RPG, you were saying, yeah. so why not? I'll get it. Cover art isn't the best, but it still. RPG on a PS2. And then another RPG on a PS2, Drakengard. Which I think they had this price at seven ninety five, but he actually knocked more money off of this for me because I went in there and said, "Hey, when I was checking out, yeah, since I'm getting a bunch of stuff, can I get a deal on?" And he kind of did. So, but yeah, this is complete as well. And apparently, near what Dustin was saying, it's kind of a spiritual successor to this game. Yeah. And I just saw Dragon Guard Three was announced coming over here to the West, so I figured I need to get involved in the party in that. Also for PS One, Dino Crisis, five bucks complete. Since I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil, I should really like this game because it's just that with dinosaurs is apparently what I hear. Mm -hmm. Looking through this one though now, didn't have the manual, oh. but Parasite Eve, ten bucks. I thought it was complete because I saw the uh, insert for the registration. Yeah, and I figured the manual was behind it, but it's not. But with it came the guide. It's a little beat up, but for ten dollars without the manual and with the guide. I think it's still a good deal. Yeah. A series that I've been really trying to look for and find for a good deal and play. It might be good, that'd be good for like, that'd be good for October too. It could be. Yeah. So, and I like this bonus disc it has in it. Like, is that oh, music? Um, no, that demos? is it's demos. But it has see it has oh a, movies, a, movies. Okay. Xeno Gears demo on, or not, maybe just like a trailer. Or of something. course, I, I was freaking out because it said three disc, and I was like, "Where is disc three? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. But. That is all my stuff, so... Yeah. That was a pretty so, big call. So, oh, but we have one yeah, other thing. thing. As we were at uh, the play and trade, uh, we found something. We didn't want to leave our good buddy Chance out of anything. I believe yeah. you saw this first. I saw it on the top. Pointed out. Would, I'm always interested in long box PS1 games. And, well, yeah, and you just ruined it. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, he you saw this. <laughs> and uh, we sent a picture to Chance, and Chance was like, Oh my god, I've been looking for that forever! And we went in together and bought him a long box copy of the PS1 Doom. Yes. So uh, I will be sending that out um, uh, maybe sometime this week. I might hold back on it and see if I can sweeten the deal a little bit. <laughs> you know how that goes. And this but, was uh, complete too. But right? uh, he's pretty much uh, squealing with delight now that uh, this is going to be coming his way. Because he's, I guess he's been looking for this for yeah. a while. And it is... That manual looks, like, new. Almost. Yeah, it is complete, <laughs> but even with a foam insert, even though it's the foam insert's kind of beat up. And there's colored art on the disc. Colored art on the disc, yeah, so... And this was funny because they had a loose copy of Doom for PlayStation. Yeah. It just said Doom on the front, no color art or nothing. For PS1, like I said, it was priced at almost 17 bucks. Yeah. And this one, if you guys saw, it was only 10 10 bucks. So... I don't know. I don't know... What's up with the Dune copies? But hey, I'm sorry, or not? Maybe we'll find. Maybe someone will be like, uh, 
clearly the long box version is not as good. <laughs> you know. So anyway, this is for our good buddy Chance. Since there you go, Chance. Couldn't be here with us. He was with us here in spirit. Yes. So anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and stop this video here and start opening some boosters. So yes. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye, you know.